Hi, in this video I want to give an overview of um, the tutorial that uh, uh, in essence is going to basically display the posts uh, in a filterable grid. Uh, so this is essentially the, uh, the page template consists of um, two components. Uh, the top component is the, the row or the filters row. So these are nothing but uh, the subcategories that belong uh, to a specific category. So in this case, uh, basics, Indian juices and drinks, mains and snacks are all subcategories of recipes category. And uh, uh, one thing to note about the filters row is that this is only going to show the subcategories that have at least one post. So if there's a subcategory of uh, recipes that does not have any post, published post, then that is not going to appear in this list. All right. So at the bottom, we have the list of posts uh, that belongs to recipes category as well as uh, any subcategories inside. So for example, this particular post uh, belongs to recipes category, whereas all the other posts are uh, belonging to some subcategories inside or under the recipes category. So each uh, uh, grid item is gonna show the featured image and if the featured image is not present uh, it's gonna basically pull the default image uh, like a placeholder image that we provide the path to uh, in the code and this is picked from the child themes directory and uh, below the featured image is the name of the post uh, which links to that single uh, entry or single post and similarly clicking on the featured image here will basically take the user to that particular post and uh, here we have the comma separated category links so clicking on snacks will basically pull up the snacks uh, category archive page and if a post belongs to multiple categories uh, it's gonna basically show both of them separated by comma or all of them separated by a comma all right, so clicking on a subcategory like say basics in this case is gonna uh, filter the posts and show only the posts that belong to that subcategory and uh, that similarly you can see it uh, in action here okay so let's take a look at the responsive behavior of this grid um, I'm gonna press uh, command alt m to bring up the responsive design view which is built into Firefox so right now we are looking at uh, around 1340 pixels so if I reduce the screen size you can see that it uh, maintains the four uh, items per row up until around 960 so alright so you can see that at 960 we have specified in the media query to <coughs> to display three items per row so that's that's how it is and at 568 we are specifying that uh, the three per row become two per row like there you go so at 568 and below that's gonna show two uh, posts per row so of course these widths are totally under your control you can change the media query um, values and at 320 pixels I think I've set it to display one per row yeah so at around at 320 it's gonna show one image per row all right that's it thank you bye